we had a cool drum beat. We had this drum machine sample thing that he did, and but we couldn't figure out a chorus or something else, and it wasn't working, and we were really trying, and it's like, I really want to use this riff. And we just looked at the pieces of paper, and it's just like, oh, yeah, that, that idea we couldn't figure out for that. Like, what would happen if we just, like, take that and throw it in, into to yeah. this and, like, change the BPM a little bit, and it was like, the the song wrote itself, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, as that, soon as we did that, it, clicked. it was like, yeah. it it was a, such a simple song to write. Yeah, and, th and that actually, that's the interesting thing is that, I mean, the process to get there was complicated, but once the puzzle was solved, it, to us, that's actually a pretty simple song. So many happy accidents and, and beautiful situations arrived on our lap completely by accident that made this record sound totally different. And the collaborations, um, I mean, like you just said, Sal from Liquid Liquid, it was so simple. It was basically, we, we wrote the song first. All, we write all the music first, and then we sit down and we decide who, which songs we think are they're going to be vocals on. And half the time, it's, you know, the songs that we definitely thought in the beginning were going to have vocals. It turns out they all of a sudden become, they sound better as an instrumental and vice versa. So Chris Tebron, who we worked with, had worked with Sal before. And uh, it was just kind of like, it would be amazing if the guy from Liquid Liquid could be on this song. It would be like perfect. And it was a phone call away. And Sal showed up to the studio, banged it out in about two hours. It's perfect because it's like, there's so much, so much New York in this record. It's like this song has, you know, Sal from Liquid Liquid, which, which totally represents a very, very niche, small two-year period of New York, like 80, 81, I think. Um, and it's basically just like, Sal, come here and do Liquid Liquid on this song. There you go. And it's perfect. And it, but it's not like we're making, it's not like we're covering a No Wave song. It's like we're doing our own thing, but we wanted a tiny, tiny sprinkle of that early 80s magic. And all of the collaborations, I, I feel, are incredibly, they happened so fast and it was so easy, but they they fit so perfectly. I think the previous records we made, we, we actually lived in the recording studios out of town. So we, it was just like, you wake up in the morning, you actually would, your stuff is right staring at you like, come on, let's do this. And which sometimes we try to use as an inspiration to snap to it and get it done. But um, it kind of takes, it took a psychological toll in a certain way. Um, whereas this, like, it, it felt like we could just breathe and live, which actually probably made us happier in the end. I think that this new record had a lot of New York in it in all kinds of different ways. Um, most of them totally subliminal in ways that you can't really pinpoint or put your finger on. The stress of so many people on the train at six o'clock and, you know, the train's late and you're, you're bummed out and 8th Avenue is disgusting and like, you know, uh, all of that griminess um, and stress somehow makes its way into the music. Mm -hmm. 